everybody. Welcome back to Cooking with the Riz. Uh, today, I'm just going to make a quick chicken dish for you. I'm using chicken breasts, which I've got here. And I've already cleaned them and I've cut them into pieces just like this. So, so this is like a scallopini chicken, okay? Um, so you can just have them like that. You can tap them out more if you want to. I'm not going to because you want to have a little bit of thickness to chicken breast because um, this cooks uh, you know, quite quickly and everything and um, you don't want it to be too thin otherwise it'll be too dry. So I'm making a, uh, a chicken scallopini with honey and mustard sauce for you today. These are all my ingredients here. I've got some flour down here and I've got a little bit of um, garlic salt um, and that's going to go in there as well. So I'm going to just dredge the, the chicken in that little mix there. I've got some thyme here which I will chop up a little bit. I'm going to, going to chop this up roughly. So you want some nice thyme in here. I'm going to put a little bit in there and then the rest is going to go into the, um, into the sauce. So just quickly, just a quick chop up. Nothing too strenuous here. So I'll put a little bit into the, into the flour down there. And this rest will go into the uh, into the into the sauce. So there you go. That's that bit there done. Now, we've also got cream that goes in there. I've got some white, a good splash of white wine is going to go in. Dijon mustard. I've got some gorgeous um, honey here that that I picked up yesterday from a local beekeeper. So that's all unfiltered and everything. So it is just mag bloody magnificent. The flavour of this. Mm, it's so yum, I tell you what. Anyway, yep, and I've got some garlic here that I've already crushed. Some diced onions there. I've got some corn flour here, which I'm going to use to um, thicken the sauce later. So all you've got to do is have some corn flour, mix a bit of water, give it a good old stir up, and we'll just put bit by bit. I've got some stock here. I've got some vegetable stock here, because I haven't got any chicken stock left, so I forgot to get it. But anyway, vegetable stock's okay. You can probably use chicken stock will be better if you can get that. Um, I've got some butter here as well and I've got some chopped up um, spring onions here and that is all and my olive oil. All right guys well I will take everything over to where the action happens on at, at, over there at the stove and I'll show you what this is all about in a moment. Okay guys we're at the stove now with everything's all happening here so I've got my flour that I'm going to dredge the chicken in and I forgot to mention the season the flour as well, salt and pepper. Okay, the pan's getting nice and hot here. Put a good old glug of uh, olive oil in here. Don't be too shy with it. If you want to seal these off, that's all you're going to do, seal them off, okay? So that's enough. There, you need another plate to put them on. So I'll put that here. All right, and then what we do, we just plonk it in there like so, shake off the excess, and put it down like that. All right, that's all you need to do. And away she goes. So remember, these are chicken breasts, um, so they, they cook quite quickly. You don't want to dry, uh, dry them out by cooking them too much. All right, so don't do that. Because we're going to finish them off in the sauce later. Okay, so this amount here fills up my pan beautifully. Okay, and you always put the service side down first. Okay, so the top of the breast basically is the service side, so that goes in first. So let them sizzle away. All right, and then bring all your other ingredients up. So you got the onions and the Garlic is here, my honey, and my beautiful Dijon mustard. Stock. It's olive oil in case I need any more. Got my white wine, my bitter here, and my cream is here, and the corn flour. All right. So they're just doing their little bit. Give them a good seal. Because these are nice and thick, you can get away with leaving them in a bit longer as well. All right, that's what I mean about having them thin or, or thick. You just got to be careful. Nothing worse than dried out breast, I tell you. There we go. 
So you use the same oil in here as what you've got the, the chicken in to seal off, uh, to uh, cook off your onions and garlic and everything. And I reckon that's nearly enough anyway for these guys. All right. Just give that a little bit more. That's okay. All right. Beautiful. There you go. So that's still nice and hot. We'll throw in the onionsies. Go in. Let them sizzle away. You don't want to put the garlic in straight away because the garlic will burn quickly compared to the onions. So we'll cook the onions a bit first. All right. Let them do their thing. Now we can throw the garlic in. Straight in with that. It doesn't take long to cook that as well. You don't want to burn the garlic because otherwise it'll be bitter. Nothing worse than bitter, bloody um, garlic, I tell you. And I'm going to put a little bit of butter in here as well. To this, I'm going to add a bit more butter later in the sauce. So this gives it a nice, nice, uh, gorgeous flavour, the butter. All right, going to give it a good old splash of vino. These are the dry whites. And I'll put the rest in there. There we go. Probably half a cup of wine there. Let that cook out. If you don't um, let the wine cook out, the alcohol, then you'll get a bit of a sour kind of taste to it. All right, that's pretty good looking there. All right, so whack in the beautiful mustard. In there. I'm going to put the stock in now. Put that in there. See how we go with that. I've got a cup here, we'll see how we go. I'll put a dog here. That'll be alright. Okay. I'm not putting the honey in there. I'm gonna put it in a bit later. So I'll put the cream in. Just let that do its thing. So it's quite simple this recipe, isn't it? Doesn't take long to get the ingredients all ready. It's quite good. Spring onions will go in at, at the last minute. Let that come to the boil. Because the chicken in here, in the sauce, will take probably about, oh, I reckon, oh, uh, I think, probably take about, Four minutes to cook in the sauce, around about that. All right, I'm gonna put the honey in now. Tell you what, this honey is bloody mad, I tell you. Gonna give it a bit of a season. Just a little bit of salt, remember we've got that stock in there. Otherwise it'll be too salty. And I'll make a bit of nice pepper. And it's boiling nicely now. That'll just cook away like that. I'll turn it down a little bit. It's got a bit of tartness there. I want, to, I want to take away that tartness with a bit more sweetness. So I'll put a nice big uh, tablespoon of this in there. Look at that, beautiful honey, mate. And you might look at this and say, oh, maybe I don't need to thicken it. Because the flour, actually, that's on the chicken, when you dredge it, that will actually thicken it up as well a little bit. All right, so just remember that. Not much, but just a little bit. I'm gonna put a bit of this butter in. That actually helps thicken the sauce as well. But I don't think it really needs much thickening. You just take a play that by ear, guys. If you need to thicken it, use a little bit of corn flour. Probably needs a little tiny bit, but wouldn't need much, I don't think. And, and if it's too thick, you need to thin it out. Just, um, just, just, just thin it out with a little bit of water. That's fine. 
That'd be good. I might just put a little bit of corn flour. Make sure you stir that around, make sure it's all smooth, okay? And we'll just put a little bit in here. You don't need a lot. Yum, look at that. That looks mad. Look at that, that's quite enough thickening. Beautiful. Ah, oh, bloody hell, that's fantastic. Can't wait to get stuck into this tonight. Woo! All right, I'm going to put some of these uh, spring onions in. A few of them, little suckers. Keep a little bit for the garnish on top. There you go, guys. Look at that. Hey? Oh. And uh, you can feel the chicken. If it's firm, nice and firm, she's cooked. Okay? So, they're not too bad, those ones. All right, just let it do its thing. I'll come back to you at the end result. Very see you very soon. Okay, guys, piece de resistance is here. Look at these chookies. They're looking damn good. All right, so like I said, guys, make yourself a nice salad to go with this. Beautiful. You're going to really enjoy this, guys. So you just drizzle your beautiful sauce over the top like this. Just like so, as little as you want or as much as you like. You know the drill, and that's it. And then you, just, you can just put a little bit of this on top like so, just like that. That's all she cried. But if you have a look at that, that looks bloody fantastic, doesn't it? Eh? I would say so myself. Whoops. All right, let's have a little taste test, shall we? All right, let's move that over. All right. Oh, see the chicken is so moist inside, it's beautiful. Mm. Tell you what, you can taste that Dijon mustard in there. You can taste that honey. And the flavors are beautiful in here. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Well guys, <laughs> that's another success story here. Um, Remember to uh, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share me around um, to all your friends and family and whoever, and uh, I shall be doing something else. Or maybe I'll need to do a sweet. I think it's time for a sweet or something. Um, if there's something that you like me to do, just you know, hit me up, uh, drop me a comment, tell me what you think, and, um, and I shall see you, all you people or you'll see me more than I'll see you at the next adventure. So until then, happy cooking to everyone.